And coach, back into conference play uh, weekend against a very familiar opponent in Western Michigan that you've played a lot over the years and had a couple close games against this season back in November. Is what's on the docket and what do you expect to see out of them this weekend? Well, we expect the same. Uh, they're a real good hockey team that plays hard, well coached. They're always well prepared. Um, tough building to play in. Uh, we're going to have to just go out there and play our best and uh, give ourselves the opportunity to be in the game and, and you know execute plays when they, when they come up. And uh, I think managing the puck in this building is really important. Um, playing good team defense and playing away from the puck are, are extremely important against them as well. And um, you know our focus again is to continue to play for each other and prepare for each other and, um, and make sure that we're, we're doing that on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. I know over the last few weeks, uh, Western Michigan has been struggling to get results, albeit against a extremely difficult schedule and mostly playing road games. Last time you faced a team that was struggling result-wise as, as much as uh, they've been, wasn't a good weekend for the team out in Colorado. Is that something to kind of keep fresh in, in the mind of making sure that you're prepared to come up from the opening whistle? No, I, our focus, again, is to play our best. Uh, you know, Western's played really, really well. Uh, Close games. Uh, I don't think you can take anything from uh, you know the outcomes. I think the process. They've you know, I've watched their last few games and they've been in every game. Uh, I think they're as good as anybody in the country and as good as anybody in our league. And uh, this is a tough tough team to play against. And again, we have to make sure that we're ready to go. And and our focus is on our preparation and our detail and our uh, um, you know our game plan and the way we're going to play, and that's the way we have to approach it. You are frequently mentioning how important managing the puck is and possessing the puck. seems that over the last few weeks the team's making much more decisive plays with the puck and really getting a chance to establish your puck possession game in the offensive zone. What have you been seeing on your film that's been kind of leading to that success? I think it's just a matter of uh, being determined on the puck and being committed to the puck. and. Um, in not hoping plays, but making good decisions with the puck. Uh, those are all uh, areas that I think we've tried to improve on, and, and the guys are doing a nice job of that. And you know, and then you got to have some energy and and um, everybody on the same page, paying paying attention to detail. And we certainly have done that over the course of the last uh, couple of months. So um, you know, we've got to continue with that mindset and that mentality. And. Also part of getting the puck and playing with the puck is showing a willingness to make the place to get the puck when you don't have it. What have you been seeing as far as the defensive end to you know fighting, fighting and winning some of those battles to pretty efficiently get out of your zone and get the puck up the ice? Well, again, I think it's just a matter of effort and commitment to playing away from the puck and, and then second effort, third effort. Um, you know, everybody's pretty good in our league and they're going to battle hard and you have to be ready to go and uh, sometimes it takes second, third, maybe sometimes fourth and fifth efforts before you win a battle. And uh, you have to have the right mindset for that. You have to have the right mentality. You have to be willing to sacrifice for your uh, for your teammate. And uh, sometimes the shifts aren't going to go well. And sometimes you're going to have to just play defense. And um, and you know certainly you have to accept that and, and move on and, and get ready for your next shift. I know I mentioned several times, especially early months, of how many young pieces are on the team, but obviously there's been a lot of seniors as well on the on the team that have been starting to perk up lately. Are you seeing kind of that look in their look in their eye these last couple of weeks of really getting those big senior pushes of not wanting of wanting to make a, a lasting impact down the stretch? Well I think I've said this before. Outside of a couple of weekends we've actually been really consistent in our effort and our approach and the way we've played and uh, everybody wants to hang their hat on a couple of outcomes that didn't go our way. Uh, our focus as a, as a program and as a staff have, have always been on the effort and the process leading up to those uh, certain outcomes, whatever they may be. And for the most part, they've been good. And our, you know, our young guys aren't young guys anymore. They're not freshmen. And our seniors that have played in different roles have, uh, have some experience in that now. So um, for me and for the way we approach things, it's all about the process. It's all about playing for each other. It's all about uh, how you play the game. and and making sure that you're paying attention to detail and you're playing the game the right way is, is what we focus on. So how I evaluate 
uh, how our team plays. Uh, uh, you know, the outcomes are going to be what, what they are. And um, uh, for us, it's about playing hard for each other, and that's what we're going to continue to do. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you.